Previously on Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. They explained at horrible lengths to me how accurate this data was. It's especially the little next one combo who keeps like drinking her chocolate milk for some reason. I don't know why she likes it so much, but she just she, she just like smiles every time she takes a sip. She's a mad woman. She's a mad woman, I tell you! And now back to Hello. Do you wanna play a game? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rob Ethereum bringing you another episode of Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. In the last episode, we managed to survive the second main game. However, it came at the loss of two good people. After a long discussion, we find out a very, very, very bad truth. Sara's sacrifice card was traded away in exchange for a commoner, and we find out that it was none other than Kana who initiated that trade to save Sara. However, in a big twist, Kana didn't get the sacrifice card, she got a commoner card. And it was then that we find out that that was the transgression that Miley was referring to. The transgression that Gashu did to mess up the main game. He moved the sacrifice to someone else instead of Kana in that instance. And that someone was none other than Now, The person who is not a candidate or a participant in the main game. She was not meant to be a part of all of this. And so Gashu gave her the sacrifice card to kill her. And once we found that out, we tried our best to, you know, make it so that we can try the game again due to the fact that like the floor master meddled with the game. However, to our shock, Gashu kills himself. And so the main game had to continue, which meant now was definitely going to die. And we had to choose between Kana and So. And the choice was ultimately up to you. And so I picked So, who went out into in a blaze of glory, in a big defiance. He ends up dying, however, he managed to activate a control panel that had a Joe AI. Right before Sara gave in to her despair. And after a good talk with her old friend Joe, even though he was just an AI, Sara finally got that confidence in her to set aside the ghost that she created. The ghost of Joe that always haunted her and make it disappear. And so now we're on a way to end the death game. I have to say, guys, that was my favorite, like, main game so far. I know that, like, we haven't had much of them as of yet, but so far, that was my favorite main game, or at least my, you know, favorite discussion session. It had so many twists and turns to it, and I, I thought at first that Kana was the sacrifice all this time. She took away the sacrifice guard. That was what she was talking about. That was what she meant when she said that our role didn't matter. But nope, I was like thrown through the loop. And what surprised me even more is that Now was the one who got the sacrifice, even though she did nothing, she, she didn't do much with the trading. And that we had to choose between the you Okana know, and So, which was basically the logic route or the emotion route. And overall, I, I really enjoyed that game and like that discussion session. I really did. The music was really, really good. And it had such a really solid ending, at least in my perspective, when you choose to, you know, kill So and like, you know, have Kana survive. And I am aware that the whole story changes depending on like who you choose. Like if you choose to have Kana die, the whole thing changes. Like so, I actually looked it up to see what happened when you like you know, chose to kill Kana. It actually was really different. And I have like my own opinions on it, but I have to really explain. It. So Kana dies in a very it wasn't really a gruesome way, but man was it fucked up. She essentially got some seeds planted into her body, and like the seeds sprouted into a flower from within her, just killing her from the inside. And all she can also do this, that is her suffering, to be honest. And then So just went fucking crazy and shit. Like he just he wanted to kill everyone in that instance, and I kind of understand why now. Like we basically just like killed a little kid, and like you know a kid who was you know essentially helping him do all these things, and like he expected like us to kill him just because of the fact that he's been such a nuisance to us. So after that, like, what changed between, like, uh, Sara and Joe in that row was that apparently, like, So activated that machine out of spite for Sara. And so, yeah, that, that AI didn't really help Sara get over her, you know, uh, PTSD and such, or I think it's PTSD that she has. The AI didn't actually help her get over that. It actually, like, you know, pushed her further and further in with, like, Joe, like, saying all these awful things to her until, like, Sara completely blacked out. And by the end of the route, Sara completely forgets about Joe in that instance. So yeah, well, here's the thing. 
I, I, do, I actually do like that, like, they went that route with the kind of death ending. Yeah, with the, with the, with the logic route, as it was called. And that, like, uh, Sara was being pushed further and further into a bad situation because of the fact that she chose with logic, right? That she chose to sacrifice Kana, who was the weakest member of the group. But her guilt, I'm guessing, got to her at that moment. It really ate up at her, and, like, there was nothing that could be done to help her in that instance. Here's my, like, issue with that, to be honest. Like, I know it's, like, a really dark part of this game. I know this game is dark. It is very dark, and it has, you know, it handles, like, very, very touchy subjects and such. The thing is, is that, I don't know. I feel like it was way better in the emotion route. How they handle, like, uh, Sara's PTSD and how she overcomes it. You know? At least for me, I'm a fan of, like, uh, characters that, like, rise above the biggest obstacle in their path or the biggest the biggest detriment of their lives like Sara in that instant after she told Joe her feelings that she would like stand up to Joe's shadow and triumph over in the end and probably declare that she was going to end all of it and the end the death game and such but with the logic route it feels like I think it's lacking in the fact that like I, I know it, it had that like aspect where like Sara completely forgets Joe, and oh man, is she ever going to remember him again? That that's gonna be really sad. I, I understand that. It just feels like I don't know what it is. I feel like it, it's such a cop out, in my opinion. It really does. I, I know it can happen. It can happen to victims of this, where they can get pushed to the brink so far that they can completely forget or lose their memories. It's just that I don't feel like in this story it fits in my opinion. It's probably because I experienced the emotion route and I liked it so much that the logic route in comparison just doesn't fit with me. It doesn't fit with me at all. Especially with how they handled Safala, in my opinion. I think Safala was like the most like uh, egregious of it. Like Safala, like when, you, when Safala was about to kill Kana, Kitaro essentially took a uh, Gashu's gun and pointed at her and told her not to come closer to Kana. And then he asked her if she does he feel bad about all this, or like, like she feels bad about you know wanting to kill a little kid that she was a doll who had sympathy for us. And she essentially said, "I didn't care. I don't care about you humans. I never cared." I don't know. I feel like that should not have been a part of the, the you know the logic route. To be honest, it, it feels like you know the developer was trying to like you know make the logic route so much different to the emotion route that it kind of like you know I, I don't think it ruined Safalan's character. More so, it crippled it. It crippled her character because over and over we, I've seen instances of her caring about the characters and stuff. Like uh, that moment when like uh, Gin got a scar or got a scratch, she, you know, mended his wound and such. I, I understand, like, maybe she was just doing her job and keep taking care of, like, Gin. But if it was just a scratch, then I don't know. I feel like she shouldn't have cared if she never cared about us, right? But she did care enough to offer assistance to Gin. At least in my opinion, or something, at, at least, like, Safalan, just Safalan alone, to just be, at the very least, like, keep her, like, feelings towards humans like, up in the air, you know? Just keep it up in the air. Make us wonder whether or not she does care. But the logic route, I feel like it just, like, straight up answers those questions. It just kind of, kind of ruins it for me. While the emotion route, it, it still has that, like, feeling, the you know, definition that, like, she does support our, our cast and such after she told us good luck and such. However, at the very least, it's still, it's still up in the air whether she does care about us or not, you know? Or maybe later in the plot or something, in this, like, emotion round, she's going to outright say she doesn't care about us. And, and once again, her character will be crippled, or even ruined, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just the ramblings of some random guy on, like, YouTube. And again, I did, like, you know, stuff within the logic route. I do like stuff about it, at least, like, up to the ending of the chapter, at least. However, I do think there are some... A little, little bit of gripes I have with that. Okay, now that I finished all of that rambling and such, let me talk about like another thing that I haven't really touched upon until now. So I managed to figure out how you can save Alice and have Reko die. Apparently, like that moment when like you expose the doll Reko, you have an option to not push her off the edge. You have to wait for a while, and nothing will happen. And Eventually, like, Kitaro will get the poison, and yeah, he's out of commission, and for some reason, I don't know why, Alice doesn't go with us to the Room of Lies. I think it now just comes with us. 
And in that instance, like, the doll Reko and the real Reko were both there. And, like, you know, basically Ranger was, like, taunting us and trying to goad us into, like, uh, choosing the wrong Reko, right? Like, he was, like, trying to threaten to kill Reko with the collar. And so, essentially, now managed to pick out the, the real Reko after the doll Reko threatened to kill them, I think. However, in that instance, when now correctly, you know, pointing out the real Reko, the doll Reko just flat out kills the real Reko and ends up dying as a result. Once again, I have to say, kind of disappointed in that. Now, I don't know what it is, but I feel like after playing through most of the stuff that I have done in this game on my own without a guide, you know, the fact that like, I managed to save Reko and have Alice die without even knowing that was an option, I feel like when I go to the other option, it kind of feels sort of like, I don't know, it doesn't really leave an impact on me. Because I feel like Reko's scene when she cries over Alice's dead body was so much more impactful than Alice's. And I understand why Alice's had an impact too, because he seems to be a gruff character and so angrily emotional and such, so he seems like a short fuse, right? He seems like on the verge of just losing it. But I feel like Reko's had more impact to it because we knew about their like a uh, muddied relationship and that like uh the fact that like neither of them ever got the chance to reconcile and they had the chance to do it during the game but they never did it and now the uh, reko was regretting it and was crying over that fact and i'm sure alice felt the same way but it's just i don't know i just don't know it feels like this game despite the choices you can have and the outcomes you can have it feels like there is indeed a definitive way, or a definitive route, at least in my opinion, based on how I'm experiencing. At least, maybe it's just a hot take for me, but it feels like the Reko and Kana alive parts are the definitive route, while the So and the Alice live parts are more so for, like, I don't know, maybe if you want a darker aspect of the story, you can have, like, Alice survive and, you know, spare So and such, and then enjoy the darker aspects of the story, at least I'm guessing. While in my experience, I'm getting a more hopeful aspect of the story. And that's really not a bad thing, because I can see that this game has its way of like, you know, presenting its tone and such, and how it can like, you know, diverge into either dark like tone, or more hopeful tone. Which I can really appreciate for the developer. They they really put in all the stuff to make sure all of the choices you make and all the you know consequences you go through are very impactful. So again, I know it's been a long 18 minute ramble from me after you know going through all this stuff, but I still firmly believe that like the emotion route and the Reco lives like route is honestly better in my opinion. At least I don't regret it at all after watching the other outcomes. So now let me like finally talk about what happened in you know, the last episode, the later bits of it that are important. So now died. Wow, that was a shock. That was an insane shock to me. I thought she was protected by plot armor. I thought because of the fact that like Mishiba died, at least in my opinion, she was going through a lot to cope with the fact that he died because she agreed to vote for him. And also, that she was trying to take care of Reko after she lost Alice. I thought she was protected by plot armor. I honestly, honest to god, thought that now was protected by plot armor and nothing was going to kill her. But then I should have realized in that moment, when now got two votes out of nowhere in that like, game, I was like, I was confused for a moment. It's like, why, why now? When like, she, she wasn't really suspicious at all. It wasn't until after the game that I realized that the Sacrifice had two votes and could vote for themselves. I didn't notice it was Joe because we were suspicious of Joe but back then. The people were. The party was, anyways. So it wasn't really far-fetched to me that he got two votes. But for now, it was hecka suspicious. It was also suspicious that, like, she didn't have an AI of her own, nor was she on the, uh, the list that we had. And so, yeah, she ended up dying a very, very gruesome death. Like, she got her, like, fucking torso torn apart from the outside in. And that last moment with her and Mishima in the afterlife, which I'm thinking is the afterlife, that was so heart-tearing, man. That was just, like, oh my god. That was so unfair what happened to now. All because Gashu had to be a stickler for the rules and shit. Oh, well, you don't have the right to win this game now, so I'm gonna, you know, meddle with the trading and give the sacrifice card to you when Kana would have gotten it. That, that is to say, I'm not really mad at the fact that Kana didn't get the sacrifice. I actually am happy that she didn't get the sacrifice. I had the option to save her. It was just so unfortunate. 
that now drew the short end of the stick on this. And I feel doubly bad for Reko. She lost both her brother and the person who was starting to become her close friend. That, that's gotta suck, man. I'm, I'm surprised Reko hasn't gone into a frenzy at this point. And then finally at the end, when we saw Sara's father. And he basically said that he's glad that she survived. Now, there is something that, has been, that I've been wondering about for a while. And it's a, a theory that's been cooking up in my head for a while. So, remember when we, like, saw the, you know, the, the percentages on those, like, notes, right? The chances of the people surviving. So I have a theory. What if this specific game, in general, is actually an AI simulation in of itself? That we're going through an AI simulation, or at least a final simulation of some kind, and that, like, all of us aren't really real. We're all AI in some way, shape, or form that is conducting yet another test for the death game. I hope that's not the case, because that would kind of, like, be really weird and odd. Who knows? That's a possible, like, theory. Another theory I have is that I understand now that, like, So was weary around Star this entire time. Usually it's because of the fact that, like, he had a 0% chance of winning, right? And he saw that she had the highest. So he obviously saw her as a threat. But then I'm starting to think, what if Sara participated in many death games in the past and just doesn't remember somehow? Because it seems to like this was being done for her, that that guy who died said that this is for Sara for some reason. And I don't particularly know why, but I'm still holding on to the theory that the Sara that we are is a doll somehow. And the real Sara is enjoying this death game right now. And like, I guess, I don't understand why she would enjoy a death game that her doll version is being a part of. I don't get that at all. And plus, obviously, her doll is going through a lot of, like, PTSD and such. Would an imitation of a person have PTSD to the extent that Sara has exhibited? I don't know. But that's another theory that could possibly be a major reveal that, like, the real Sara Jindoan is behind all of this. And the Sarge and knowing that we are is a doll. I'm, I'm still holding on to that theory that like one of us all the time is a doll. No way that cannot be a plot twist. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, now I can finally explain what is going on in this episode and like what is going on after all of this. So like I basically like ended it on a weird note that like you know all of the stuff that I'm going to do from now on is going to be the remainder of the last recording session. So I'll be going on a little bit from where I last left off in that recording session to do a little bit of things and like you'll fit around with the characters and all that shit. And then we're gonna keep going on on until I find a good spot to stop because so I probably am going to go on for another like uh 30 to 45 minutes after all this. So let's hurry up and get this going, shall we? My god man! What an insane fucking story. I I I gotta keep going, just in case. A large door. Huh? Through here? Really? Yeah. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. Just to the next floor, okay? What the? This isn't where that door went before. What? The hell is this place? It's nothing surprising at this point, Wolf. It's just an image, meow. Heh! <laughs> are you gonna be such a worn down adult, kid? It's not like we're walking through the sky. Yeah, this is a little bit strange, though. What the fuck is up with this place? Top of the stairs, the door that blends in with the background. Should we go in? Yeah. We open the door and enter. It's pitch black. A long passage. Everybody okay? Nobody falling behind? I'm fine, Meow. What do I take to the clues to the person in front of you, Wolf? Ah, that's right. Thought my back spotted. So, what's Gin's claws? Gah! Who's touching where they shouldn't? Sorry, he's gonna. Ah, I can see a very faint light. What the heck is this? What is that? I have no clue. I have no clue at all. Man, is this gonna keep going? How long have I been recording? For three hours, jeez. Oh, it's gonna take me a while to even get through all this, but I have to do it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It's a long, narrow stone, barely illuminated. It's hard to judge how far away it is, but it seems pretty big. A grave? Has someone... Has someone investigated? Let's pull it out. A grave? Is that... A grave? Grave? I wonder whose? Still, what is this doing here? Oh, kitten. When you play with people's lives, trying to respect the dead don't mean shit. What? 
And then, like, come on, meow. Okay. A large, a large box of some sort. This box is even bigger than Kutaro. Surely this isn't. Hmm. A coffin? It's a coffin. What? You don't think there's someone inside? Don't be ridiculous. Whose body would be? I wonder. Can I open this thing? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's open it. I slowly slid open the lid. Ah, uh, it's him. It's... A person. There's a person in here. But who? Yeah, it's this kid. This guy! Meow! There's another box down, wolf! What in the world? What's going on? Oh, great. Some sort of coffin. Okay, open it. Slowly set open the lid. Sure enough, someone's in there. Yeah, the guy we saw in the video. Meow! Yeah, the glasses guy! I see him somewhere, wolf! Yeah, that guy. The victim video. He's someone who died in the first trial. That's right, Meow. Yeah, an axe came at his head. And yet, not a single visible wound, huh? Hmm, I'm starting to understand now. All those victim videos. What? A whole bunch of coffins! Oh, jeez. Okay, open up this one. Man with the blue hair. Is this guy a victim of the first trial, too? Some sort of coffin? Inside is a woman wearing a large hat. Damn it. Is this a cemetery? Some sort of coffin? Inside is a boy wearing a school uniform. Meow. What's fun of your life, wolf? Gin. Inside is a girl wearing a hood. I think I've seen this hood. Some sort of coffin. Inside is a girl with pink hair. She, she looks about Kana's age. What is going on here? Inside is a man with green hair. Inside is a man wearing glasses. This guy was in the victim video. Okay, look for oddities. Is there anything of interest? I slowly slid open the lid. Are there any places that look suspect? Oh, what the? Oh, shit. Ah! Mrs. Sir, what happened, Wolf? Get away! That person moved! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? Uh, oh! Oh god! Jeez, you fucking freaked me out! Oh damn, what voice should I give you? Ah, uh, jeez. You, you were the person that, like, so replaced, apparently. Nice to meet you, Miss Sora. Ah! <laughs> Sorry to pop out of the darkness. Did I startle you, I wonder? You, you mean you are a corpse? As you can see, I am super duper. So, did you enjoy it? As if anybody enjoyed that! What the hell's wrong with you? Huh, so sure enough, you don't remember. That's perfectly fine, though. I'm your floor master this time. Hello! Floor master, you say? Yep, I waited for five hours in that coffin. It's so cruel of you guys to keep you in suspense. Now, now, gather closer to me. There is no time. I need to introduce you to the dolls who will be supporting you. Oh, no. Mwah! Whoa, Nelly! Oh god, are we actually going to talk to all of these now? These people who were victims. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. The victims that we saw in these videos were originally people, but they, they got turned to dolls. Oh, just the worst way to wake up. Oh jeez, who is- oh, it's a boy. Okay, let's see. Can't stand it. We have to support these guys. <laughs> well, fine by me. So, what's- which of you is my partner? Partner? <coughs> That should be master, you know. You guys are the supports, after all. Hold on, supports? What are these? <laughs> I'll introduce you. They're known as the dummies. They're the tragic victims who died before they could meet anyone. Who the fuck are you? Oh my god, there's a little bit of the big hat. 
I've never seen you before. Okay, uh... Eh, probably a new, new voice. Eee! Sora, you're just so cute! Relax, we're on your side! She knows my name? Naturally, the dolls. So they got the necessary info input in advance. Tch, <laughs> this expression is dead. Let me go back home. Whoa, whoa what the fuck? Pink haired girl! Shoot, you look freaky as fuck. There's a huge struggling now. This time, we'll be having you make pairs with the dummies to take on the game. Pairs? Now, Red Thread of Fate, activate. What? My collar! Oh no, what, who, what? What's this? The people connected by the Red Thread of Fate are the pairs for this game. A kid. Alright then, I'll protect you. I'm Kuromana. Ha <laughs> ha! Eee! So cute toys, my master! My name is Mai! Let's get along! Sure! That's the right mood to be in! Hinata. Middle schooler or so. Must be rough. Oh, you were probably the girl who committed suicide, damn. Er, Rekko, isn't it? I'm Ansu, a high schooler. Right, don't know what's going on, but nice to meet ya. I'm Hayasaka. Oh boy, kid, huh? I'm the one who's worried, woof! Eh, uh, Sora, was it? I'm Ron Maru. I'm in high school like you. High school student? <laughs> Trey, please! <laughs> Question mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How nice. Everyone looks like they'll get along. Well, lastly, I'll introduce myself too. I am a poor doll killed by the murderer, Alice Yabusame, so Hiori. Yeah, like Alice mentioned this guy. Of course, so Hiori is a name of the past, me now. Seeing as Shin used it with such care, I'm not going to just claim that name now. Shin Tsukimi, that's the real name of the So We know. So he took the alias of So Hiyori from this guy. Poor Shin, I'm truly, truly sad I am. Since he was going to die anyway, I wanted to kill him with my own hands. How can you say that? <laughs> Don't get so mad. You all can understand my affection. This person, he's a little like so. It's of all the crazy factor, well he kinda does have crazy eyes. But something is distinctly different. Anyway, it'll be inconvenient without a nickname. Hey, Miss Sara, you act as a representative and give me a new name. What the what? Midori. Okay. This is a little interesting. Uh, hmm. how about shit face or something? I don't know. Uh, you know some. I'm gonna do something a bit fun. I'm gonna name him myself, actually. I like to use the keypads. No, nope, okay, just this. Uh, I'm gonna name him myself. Guess you know, I'm just that kind of guy. Jirabi, that's a good name. You sure you want to name me that? Thanks. I'm glad to get such a wonderful name. Oh man, I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna have kind of fun boys in this guy now. My own name. So, what are you going to make us do this time? <laughs> you just can't wait, can you? Relax, it's a very simple bonus game. You just have to join forces to kill a certain target. That is to say, it's a hunt. What? You can use any method. Shooting, stabbing, striking, strangling, anything else. And it should be a piece of cake for you guys, who've killed a bunch of people, albeit indirectly. Cut the crap! Kill? Who? Your target is Kei Shinogi. Not. Did I make your heart skip a beat, Miss Sara? Obviously that's a joke. I wouldn't make you kill your allies. How annoying. How annoying. For floor master, you're pretty meddling. Nah, that's just my style, uh, Sara, okay? Goes with the territory. Miley did tell you you were cute when you got mad, Miss Sara. Your target is Jurabi, 
In other words, you just need to kill me. Oh, oh fuck! I did not, I did not anticipate, anticipate that. I, oh no! I put myself on a target list. What the fuck? <laughs> no, no, I won't say it twice. Now begins the sub game, the murderer game. I'm looking forward to the finest of bloodlust. Oh, wait, is the expedition over? You have to kill that person? Ha <laughs> ha, you alright? Now might have been a best chance, you know. Like hell, who could just up and do that after having it sprung on them? I bet that guy played through the furthest end of the floor. There's no time for it. First, we'll share the information we have with everyone else. Hmm, there's still more info. That's right. He said it was too much bother, and so we should give the, give the explanations. Seems like we should ask them for the details, Sora. Okay. Wow, I did not expect for that to happen, to be honest. I kinda wish I kinda like ended it sooner, but oh well. Okay, now we're going to do a whole new recording session for this one. So basically we met these six dolls who I'm having the feeling that are part of the main game as we're part of the main game, or at least initially started. We only saw like uh four of these guys. The guy with the glasses, the girl with the hoodie, the pink girl, and uh the buff dude over here. But we haven't seen these two over here, which the thing is run Maru here. So now we gotta like, you know, go and kill you know, Durabi or me and such. Which I kinda regret naming that guy myself, because I feel like because I'm definitely gonna die. Stone monument, brightly illuminated. Yeah. Okay, uh let me like talk to you, little girl. Yeah, he not go. Okay, so apparently I was wrong about like uh how this girl died. She uh, she was killed by you know Ranger there in the video that we saw and she thanked him for killing her so she definitely has suicidal tendencies at the very least so i'm not entirely wrong about that so let me think of a voice to give to her she like she's definitely depressed so here we go hey there sorry senpai senpai you not a fan of that to me high school students are like adults you can call me what you like can i go okay sorry senpai glad you're someone who talks sense Oh yeah, I'll tell you a piece of info. The requirement for us being chosen as supports is that we're dead people who never had any contact with you survivors. I heard eight people died in the first trial, so two of them must have already known survivors. Kana's kind of sister, and Megami Sasahara, I suppose. Ah, I see. But I'm to feel that we're gonna see those two, like, way later in this, like, chapter. Like, we're gonna see their dolls. I have another big piece of info, but I can't say it yet. Huh? <laughs> if you just reveal your entire hand, you'll get used as a pawn, right? Nobody likes being used. Used? I would never. I want to be friends. Ah, you got me. Ah, you got me there. Yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice people for my own gain. Right, so? So? Alright, he's dead. Yeah, I would never. I'd never do such a thing. And there lies on the line. Who knows what kind of evil someone would do? I thought you'd know that even better than me. This is my means of defense. Don't be mad at me, Sara Senpai. Hmm. Yeah, I'm having to feel like you're speaking from experience. You got used at one point, didn't you? That's why you probably have suicidal tendencies from that. Okay, you, the hoodie girl, who has a surprisingly nice design. So Anzu, she was one of the other victims in the video, victim video that we saw. Like, she apparently died in the first trial and like i kind of don't know the context to it to be honest but she just died so i'm trying to think of a voice for her and i haven't really thought about it yet what voice haven't i not used i think i think there's such a voice i haven't used right let's try that so you're sarah right yeah oh let's be friends we're about the same age right i don't know she doesn't seem exciting at, at all hmm not a bazooki voice not Kasane voice, Rucko just said not. Uh, oh, how about the Nepgear voice? Uh, you're judging my outfit, aren't you? You think I'm weird? I mean... I'm not thinking that. Yeah, it's weird. That hood's familiar. That hood looks familiar? You're from that doll, Real Ranger, right? That guy's awful. He pilfered my clothes and wore them for himself. Ah, that... I didn't really notice his, like, uh, outfit as well. So, he must have, like, taken outfits from each of these characters then, I'm guessing. Or just, like, he was, like, kind of picky about it. It's hard to explain. But, see, I do this clown sort of thing outside of school. Whoa, what the fuck? Look, I attend events just like this! 
What a scary mask. So, no reason to be creeped out, really. Sure. Anyway, do you have information? Of course. Uh, let's see. No thoughts. Head empty. Okay, thanks a lot. Did I have you ask someone else? Ugh, did you forget? Heh. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, you're the glasses dude I saw before. Okay, how about you, uh, big buff dude? Uh, Kuramata, right? Yeah, Kuramata. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the credo voice. Ha! <laughs> Just how you doing, aren't ya? Something funny, Mr. Kuramata? Sure is. You're just a plain old high schooler. Wait a survive, alright? Straight up amazing. Hmm, okay. It's been close. It's thanks to my allies. It's been many sacrifices. Yeah, it's thanks to my allies. It's thanks to my allies. We all help each other. Allies, huh? Yes. Well, alright then. Guess that was the right call after all, if you're still alive. Oh yeah, but really. I should tell you, apparently there's monsters lurking on this floor. Monsters? Probably just dolls, really. But it'll spell tragedy if we don't get weapons. You ever been in a fight? Not the violent sort, naturally. You have your fluffy mop, buddy. Give him hell. Maybe you give him a good spooch. He'll work his butt off for ya. Heh. <laughs> no. If someone else is going to fight for their life, I'm going to fight for my life, too. I see, I see. You're really interesting. Hmm. Okay. And now you. I have not seen you before, I don't think. Well, there were three, like, victim videos that we saw, right? The first one was the pink girl, the second one was a hoodie, and th yeah, the third one was Kuramata, but I've never seen you before. Eee! This cute little Sara! You're going to chat with me? Yeah, I think that's, like, a good voice for you. Not really a chat. I just need your info. Ooh! I like my measurements. No! I'm in regarding the death game! If you tell me what your type is, then I'll tell you what I know. Huh? Uh, strong people, kind people, can't think of anything. Uh, probably like kind people. Er, uh, I guess I have to say, kind people? I totally get that. People who treat you nice are the best, after all. Yeah. But kind people can't survive here, huh? Hmm. Ah, sorry if I upset you. Right. You wanted to hear my info. Well, it's about us. Our real sales died in the first trial. And we were shown these victim video things that showed the moment of our deaths. Let's be honest, it's unforgivable that they would do this to us. So, I want to give my all too, and I want your aid as well, Sara. Please. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sara! We're not a pair, but let's do our best! I don't know about you. You seem to be the most peppiest one. You, you gotta be sus as shit. I, I have not seen a single fucking video of you at all. And now this guy. I've seen you before. H hey, Miss Sara. Hayasaka. Are you familiar with me? You know something, yes? Are you familiar with me? You're familiar with me, aren't you? Now what are you talking about? Do you know something about this death game, perhaps? You saw my freaking video, did you? Yeah, I did. Just think about it. I'm not the real Hayasaka. I'm a doll made to look exactly like him. Obviously, the organization wouldn't leave me any memories that'd be a problem for them, right? Is that so? I I'm glad you understand. Well, if that'll be all. He's utterly suspicious. Alright, now you run, Maru. Uh, so it's just Sora fun. Hmm. Of course, I prefer Chindoen. Call me Mr. Sora. <laughs> Call me Mr. Sora. Yeah, of course. Of course. We're probably about the same grade. You sure? You aren't gonna come to me later saying you were actually my senior. I don't think this is the time to be worried about junior-senior relations. And also, another thing. It's like one thing that I haven't talked about in all my videos, but... It's a bit of a weakness that I have when I'm reading these things. So you notice when I voiced out that, like, last sentence that he said? Like, I spoke it as if it was a statement, but it was actually a question. The thing I have, like, trouble with is that I can't tell, like, immediately if a sentence is a question or not. It's like with some of these things. Like, there's no indication, like, do, or why, or how, or when, or all that stuff. There's no indication word to tell me that what I'm about to read or read out is a question or not. 
I have to wait until the very end of the sentence for it to be a question. That's like the one thing that I kind of appreciate in Spanish, that they have the question marks right before you read the sentence, so I can tell that it is indeed a question. I kind of wish that English had that, to be honest, it's, because it's kind of annoying. More importantly, do you have any info? I do. It's about these red threads in our collars that connect us. If the people in the pair get some distance apart, their collars activate and their heads fly off. Oh, shoot. That's not good. What the? Well, actually, that's only for us support. Your collar won't activate, Sora. So only your collar would. So don't get too far from me, okay? Let's put our differences aside. Got it. I see. Uh-oh. What's that sound? Ah, oh, crap. Seems they're getting an early start. A monster's come to attack. Uh-oh. Oh, you're in a discussion now? Oh, shoot. So many characters here. It's a monster! That's right. You're dead me if you don't handle it right away. Got it? Meow! That's absurd, Muscle Punk! We can't fight against something like this, Wolf! True. I can't imagine we can do much taking it on fair and square. Then put your wrists together. We'll all think about it and pick someone's idea to drive it away. If we discuss it, we might just figure out a weakness. Understood. Yes, you're just gonna stay. You're just gonna stand there, just like let us talk us out. <laughs> there must be some way to repel it. The monster is just looking his way. Okay. Uh, how about Gagey? Might want to observe our opponent. Oh, uh, they haven't. They haven't explained this to me at all. What should I do? Observe the situation. Save game. Let time pass. Okay, let me like save the game real quick. Cause I don't, I don't know what's going on here. So, how about Kido? I'll grab his body and give it a hurl. Okay, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'll sniff around and check for stuff, meow. Oh, I see. This is where the things came from. The things I've been using for the thumbnails. Shoot. Because of the fact that So's dead, I've been using his thumbnail for this. The like, Kikana's unavailable, Gregor's unavailable. Let's search for something to use as a weapon. Ah, I'm guessing this is gonna be the one. Something like this calls for sucking it with my fist, right? Not yet. Oh, shoot! Freaky eyes! I'm fine fighting it if I've got a weapon, okay? Okay, let's like go with the weapon then. Your your idea. Let's search for something to use as a weapon. Yeah, go with this. We're in luck! I found a long shovel in the darkness. I the long shovel. Sure seems like they put it there on purpose. So what? Let's be grateful and use it. Okay. The monster is sizing up his surroundings. Rock, what are you looking at? Okay, so he's looking at Reco. For some reason. Hmm. Okay, what is this shovel? A tool for digging earth. It's heavy, so it could be swung like a weapon. Okay. I guess we use a shovel as a weapon. Well, I can't do anything with like a Sora at the moment. Honestly, I do want to kind of want to observe it and try, try to figure this thing out. Keiji looked over the opponent head to toe. Those red areas of his body are making a cracking sound. Seems they're electrified or something. It might be dangerous to touch. The purple skeleton bars are some kind of armor. Probably okay to touch those. Might have to find a weapon or destroy the armor to deal with this one. Ah, I see. The monster turned towards Hayasaka. Found you. Found you. <laughs> I got a bad feeling. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh... You need someone tough, right? I'll grab his body and give it a hurl. Maybe this. Can a shovel really hit him, though? You know, I think Kurumata might be best for this or something. He seems to be a boxer. There we go. Aha! Knocked off that ugly helmet! Hit a square in the jaw! You're one terrifying hoodlum! I'm a boxer, goddammit! The monster is laughing fearlessly. The monster attacked Hayasaka. This is no joke! Hayasaka ducked behind the others to escape danger. Okay. And I'm guessing you're next, uh... You know... 
I think, what was her name again? Okay, yeah, 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 I forgot her name. I, probably, I probably forgot her name. Okay, give her a weapon then. Give her, give her, give her this shovel. Boom. There, that'll do, right? Hinako, right, right. Destroying armor with a shovel. You're really something. I mean, my arm is tingling a little. Ha! Ah, his body changed color! Might be our chance. The monster is now staring at Ansu. You. You. Hey, what? You're creepy. Oh, God. Can't do anything here. Okay, I got it. I'll hide in the darkness and try to trip it. Good plan, right? Hmm. I'll step around and check for stuff now. Hand me that shell. I'll find a weak spot and knock it down. I'll grab his body and give it a hurl. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it like Ron Morrow here. Okay, got it. I'll hide in the darkness and try to trip it. Good plan, right? Yeah. The monster lost his balance and fell over. Well, it actually worked out. Ha! Ah, don't be startled by something you did yourself. Shut up. What matters is that it was useful, right? The monster is defensively trying to get up. Okay. The guy just stop it from getting up. I'll give grab his body and give it a hurl. Okay, barbecue taro. Go, dude. I'll grab his body and give it a hurl. Taro forcibly tossed the mount monster. Rock, let's get on with it before it gets back up. Please, hey god. The monster is defensively trying to get up. Okay, what about what about you? Kitaro seems dependable, so how about we have him go at it again? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's trying to get up, right? It's probably hit it while it's trying to get up. So let's like have Reko hit it. Oh, unfazed, damn it. What? You're gonna act like nothing happened? Does it not feel pain or what? To find a weak spot. This ain't good. The monster got up. Okay, Kitaro, do it again. The heck? Daro, please, we need your strength. All right, I got it. Leave it to me. Eee, how cool! Bum me out. Take this more seriously, would ya? Ow, Monsu. No! Oh boy. Hey, somebody help! Let me a hand. Okay, uh, go with this. What are you doing? Sara grabbed at the monster. No good. It's too strong. He'll just throw me off. Please! Hey, God! Monster broke out of the hole. Okay, I can, I can like, stop it. Okay, I need to, like, go, you know, grab it again, I think. And I think Gin is going to find a way to get something. Right! Let's get off of it before it gets back up! Please! Hey, God! Monster is defensively trying to get up. Okay, how about Gin? Sit around and find something. So obviously the shovel didn't work. There's a flaming stick at the wall, meow! A wall torch? Okay, a flaming stick. Hmm, not sure about using it as a weapon, but maybe you could burn it if you got close and found a good opportunity. You're kind of violent, wolf! Alright, there we go. Monster got up. Okay, uh... Willing to do anything, she'll use a torch to burn it from behind. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that's the that's the thing. Have Kana do it. Do it, Kana. Burn! <laughs> <laughs> Kana did it. You can see under the bandage now, meow. I'm curious about the red thing in his chest. That's totally not a weak point. Totally not. The monster is grappling with Anzu. Stop! Stop it! Don't worry, I got it. I got it. Have me a shovel. All right, got it. Go with it. Boom. Okay, that was an interesting little mini game. Phew, shouldn't be getting back up now. Destroy the monster. <sighs> you saved me. Thank you. Oh, this is sorry. The uh, net gear. I was sweating. What the hell was that monster? An abstractor. 
A doll meant to impede our objective, and who will come after our lives, apparently. It was saying it definitely wouldn't be satisfied until it destroyed one of us. Eh? Was it really saying that? That ain't funny. After all this, certainly we gotta use violence. That's why we're cooperating, right? Our only advantage is numbers. Putting our heads together, and sometimes having someone risk themselves, that's all we can do. <laughs> Let's work together, Sara. I really trust you. We don't want to be a fate like that either. We know the fear of death better than anyone. I don't know, but the dolls, I, I feel like you guys, you guys are full of bullshit. Ain't it okay to trust them? Kitaro? It's making me remember that fake record business. These guys ain't just artificial things either, I'm sure. They're alive. Hell, if that ain't cruel, though. Cruel. Well, I guess it's fine. The more people, the more fight we can bring. That's right. Just gotta think simple. No use suspecting them for now, I guess. I don't know. The other... The, that, that one doll with the high-pitched voice, though. She's, like, raising a lot of flags. So, uh, let's keep it up, Sora. Right. Same to you. Alright then. First up, let's go after Jurabi. Hey, what did I do? I didn't do anything. I'm just out here in the back, just doing my own business. That's how I learn how to mind your own business. You know, I still got these, like, a uh, list of names. Hmm. I feel like it's gonna be, like, relevant somehow. Okay, well, that was an interesting little, like, uh, mini game. So we basically gotta, like, work together with these dolls to beat the enemy, I guess. And we gotta, like, analyze them. And we gotta make sure to move fast, otherwise they'll kill one of the people here. Because I think I almost lost that, like, a uh, hoodie girl. Okay, let's, like, uh, look around. The path that you used past the stone monument. Okay, hold on. Let me like, check these graves. The coffin Jarabi was in. Okay, it's just like coffins. Okay. None new. What the heck? What? I see some kind of gate. Not sure whether we're inside or outside anymore. Yeah, where the fuck are we? Seriously. Hmm. Nothing here. The yellow posts are electrified. Can't even try to hop over. Hmm. Electrified, huh? What's in this door? The large gate is shut fast. Is it locked, maybe? Hmm. But this thing up here. It reads, When the dead assemble, the banquet shall begin. Banquet? Hmm. And what's the note here? This is a piece of paper, right? Yeah. This piece of paper is stuck in the gate. It's got some drawings on it. Huh? Is this a floor map? How generous. Never gotten anything like this before. That Jarabi must feel really confident we're not gonna win! Totally, guys! You definitely aren't gonna win! Suck my balls! Where are we now, I wonder? Hmm... Looking at the map... It looks like this is our current location. Man, though. Some dazzling looking rooms here. But if we use this, we will get lost! Think positive, Kitaro! Mm, yeah, I guess so. Obtain the floor map. Okay. We don't have much of anything else with it, right? So... Hmm. Let's go to the elevator, then. Wonder what this place is. Think it's a bathroom? Kind of shitty, meow. Don't want to go in, Wolf. Eh? Holding it in is bad for your health. Ah, but we don't have to go anymore, so look at us! Just don't say stuff that's hard to respond to. You're making it awkward. Hmm, interesting. There's a symbol that looks like a people. Is it a bathroom? Hmm, that's what might look like an elevator. The door is firmly shut. It won't open. Huh? That's not good. Ah, stuff to put humans. Oh, I guess I thought you were going to do something. That was somewhere else. Uh, this boxing ring. What's in here? Gah, this place. What's the matter? It looks like the gym I used to go to. Is this just coincidence, Meow? Don't know. But if they're going to make us fight another monster, then bring it on. I'm never going to lose a one-on-one here. 
to excite your boxer spirit. I was feared as the one and only, comfortable of destruction. Really? That's your name? What the fuck? What kind of alias is that? Are you bullied? Did you get your lunch buddy stolen? What do you mean? No, um, nothing. Hey, let's search. <laughs> okay, and what's this area? We can't go to these areas for some reason. This is interesting. Back here, I guess? Hmm, what am I supposed to do? Oh, right on a stone, stone monument. Doesn't look like important info. Hmm, okay. That's weird. I feel like it's like a switch here or something. Actually, there's something back here, right? Hole about the size of a window. It's dark inside. Can't see anything. Colorful roasts around the ring. My gym wasn't this gaudy. Hmm. The floor of the ring is sturdy. Nothing suspicious here. Oh, what's this here? Oh, it's in this post. There are posts on the four corners. It looks like they're lit from within. Hmm. There's a passage on the other side. What should I do? Hey, into the passage. What? What? The passage! Hey! The entrance is here too! We've been locked in? Something starting. Careful, everybody. Find my me. I'll blow them away. Whoa, a lot. I hear something for the walls. Guys, get up on the mat. Oh, God. Yeah? What the hell? What is this? There's liquid pouring from those windows. Oh, shoot. It's Magma Wolf. We're gonna get belted now. You gotta be shitting me. So it's not gonna be a monster? What do we even do about this? Seems like your forte, Sora. I don't know about this, Gage. This is a whole nother level. We're looking at a volcano or something. Huh? Let's take a look around the room. Use your sharp eyes to identify anything suspicious. Anything suspicious? Then, let your friendly policeman and company be your arms and legs to solve this puzzle. Understood. I'll try. Oh, shoot. I do this shit. Liquid is streaming in forcibly beneath the ring. Okay, hold on. Uh, what is this? Some sort of white cord. Cord? It's connected to the back left post. Inspect it. What? The back left post has some sort of power cord on it. Hey, you found something? Perfect. One motto. Check the power cord there. Whoa. The post lit up. I see. It's being lit from within. The other posts are glowing the same way. Now this is kind of suspicious. That's true. Alright, I'll check this post some more, Sora. You think of a plan in the meantime. Okay. The height of the liquid is slowly rising. Damn! It just keeps rising! What should we do? Uh, ba 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 ba. Sora, it's a switch on the back left post. Should I press it? I don't know. Um, I know, Meow. I'll check the floor really close, Wolf. Okay, there's a knife there, but I'm not sure what the knife's gonna do. I don't know, this is a boxing ring, right? Maybe if we do it out together, the puzzle will get solved. I don't know about that. Let's just wait. Okay, hold on, let me see this knife real quick. Sorry, Big Sister, the floor is normal. Well, what the fuck? What about the knife? It's okay, Sara. I knew we could solve this room. Point out anything you think is suspicious. Only you can get everybody moving. Oh, I had to do it myself. Strange shadow on the ground. What's this shadow? Is there something on the ceiling? Oh, oh, that's why I didn't, didn't find anything. But how do you not notice a shadow, Gin? The fact that there's a shadow here means something is blocking the lights. I'll take a look at the ceiling. There's a knife stuck to the ceiling. There really is. It could be dangerous if it falls. Is it a trap? Nah, don't you think we need it for this puzzle? It's, that's possible. But even Kitaro's a tall enough to reach that. Anybody got any ideas? The liquid is creeping onto the stage. The level's risen. Haha, <laughs> this is bad. Come on, we can do this. A knife on the ceiling. Might be able to reach it if I can jump off jump off the ropes, okay? Hmm, the colors might mean something too. If there's a knife in the ceiling, I'll hit it with a shoe and knock it down. I don't know about that. Yeah, I think KG might be the best to do this. Okay, go for it, KG. Huh, got you now, knife. You seriously got it that way? Now that's impressive. 
Line that five with piss poor elastic ropes. Oh yeah? As far as my expectations, these seem pretty bouncy. Now the question is how to use that knife. Gotta have an epiphany. Sora found this precious item for us after all. Tired of the liquid slowly rising. Shit! The hell can we do about this? There's gotta be something I can do about the liquid, right? We gotta cover it somehow. Look at the two use of pouring. But that's magma, like Gin says. He should still give up light in the dark. Yeah. Just wondering if it's gonna lead to anything. Hold on, let me like, try this then. Hold on, let me save real quick. I feel like I'm running out of time somehow. Alright, let's give it a shot with these things here. If this were magma, this room would surely be a lot hotter right now. Halavisky was really what it really is. This isn't magma at all! Say what? You're for real, Sora? I'm not sure what it actually is. But it seems it's no problem if you touch it. So even if the level rises, it should be fine. Hold on a sec. Humans might be fine, but what about us? True. Are we properly waterproof? Ah, uh, could be bad if there was an electric shock. That ain't funny. We'll be through too. Crap. Gotta think what we can do. Hi, look at slowly rising. There must be a hint at solving this in the room. Okay, yeah. His liquid is safe. But I'm gonna dip in and check the walls for anything weird. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do that first before, like, uh, activating the switch. There's a switch to the wall! I'll press it! Alright, left flow stopped! That'll slow the speed of the liquid. Right, still ain't a solution, but it'll give us more time to think. Come here, Sora! Leave any athletic stuff to me! Alright. Oh shoot. The liquid is flooded into the stage. Yeah, it's up to my feet, Wolf! Okay, uh, 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 there's only two left. Boxing ring, right? Maybe if we do get out together, the puzzle will get solved. I don't know, but... Alright, let's try like a U on Maru. Sora, it's a switch in the back left post. Do I press it? Go with it. it. Looks like by pressing the switch, you can change the color of the post. What color should he change it to? Oh, uh, that one, right? Ugh, shoot. Which one? Uh, I think it's like, which... Okay, I think it has something to do with the color of the string, so maybe change it to yellow. Is this color right? Yes. Thanks, Romaru. That'll do. Roger that. Uh... What does it do, though? Oh, and let me try you, Kuramata. Like, boxing me, right? What do we do some here? Wow! You're screwing with me? Sure enough, punching it out had no meaning! We didn't even fight each other. You just hurled me. Seems like that martial arts have anything to do with it. Damn it. Anymore, we'll be in trouble. Faces, Miss Sara! I'm trying to figure it out. It's like. Hmm. What's I supposed to do with this four times? Sora, this is switching the back left post. Should I press it? Uh, go with it. I don't think that was right. Uh, let me see. It wasn't yellow. Actually, hold on. I was supposed to check that, wasn't I? Damn it. Keep it as yellow. Look! I can't put my thoughts together! God damn it! Wait! What's gonna happen to us? The liquid is rising so fast. We're gonna drown! My feet can't touch the bottom. What should I. Ah! The liquid gradually filled the room. We headed upwards, seeking air. By the time it was full, hope had been close to us. I guess we failed. Game over. Okay. I think what I had to do is that I had to... Okay, I think I know what to do. This part here. Uh, first off, get this. I think it was the, the magma flow here. I had to stop the magma flow. I don't know how I didn't figure that out. Okay. It's this part here. But, no, it didn't change anything, though. What else is he here? Oh, I have to get all of these things, I think. Hold on. Let me try this one. Hmm, didn't... Nagi, nope. Ah, damn it. This is gonna be a tricky puzzle. Because nothing is happening here. You can't touch the liquid itself. Yeah, it has nothing to do with this. I feel there's something to, to this, like, power outlet, I think. 
I just don't know how it is going to connect. Yellow didn't work. Blue seems to connect to the, the one on the right. I just can't see the whole thing, though. But I think is it that one in particular that is, like, you know, standing out. Is it green? I think it's green? No? Blue to green to blue to yellow to green. Something awful. Hold on. Uh, what about these things here? Colorful ropes around... Hold on the ring. Hmm, do these colors mean something? You should try touching. Yeah, I, I've got th these things. Are well, the different color ropes are hinted to puzzle? I'll grab them and investigate. These ropes. Some of them are soft and some of them are hard. There's two types of ropes, Meow! Why, Wolf? Not sure about that part. Hmm, could there be something inside them? Then, should we open up the ropes and look inside? Well, but I doubt the hard ropes could cut, even with something sharp. Perhaps we should try cutting the soft ropes at least. It's possible, with a proper tool. Okay, uh... Soft ropes? I'll use the knife to cut through these like bread. Okay, go ahead. I say it up nicely, Sarah. She looks like a like a dust like a like a dusticle, but she works fast. Huh? The four posts got colored in. Seems the ropes themselves are power cords, and cutting the extraceous cords make them light up in the proper colors. I don't get it. What does that mean? It means we're probably getting close to the solution to this puzzle. Exactly. These posts and this puzzle. The cords must be hiding the answer. Objecting, you know, it's too late. I was like one, I was one away. Yeah, I should have thought about like, uh, sealing up those two things. Because I feel like that, that accelerated the time, actually. So that was way too fast. Okay, let's do this again. I know exactly what to do now. Okay. Blue, green, red. Okay, so the final one was yellow. I was right about that. Okay, yellow. It's better be the last one. Alright, whew. On the very last one. That was a really complicated puzzle there. I think what screwed me over is that I didn't seal up one of those, like, uh, things that was overflowing the liquid and such, so... I actually had less time than I should've. So sealing that one up probably would've given me more time. <sighs> Did we... solve it? Bravo, Sara. Is that about okay? Huh? Where's Hiroko? You don't mean... Uh, I'm right here. Don't startle me. If you go too far away, your color will explode, you know? <laughs> no need to be that cautious. The pair of collars can go as far as the room apart. Oh, and where'd you hear that? Huh? Didn't your rabbit tell you? Hey, you got a sec? Seems to me there's a difference in what information you guys have got. Oh, come to think of it. Why would that be? Jirabi talked to us together. Maybe there's the info you heard, but also memories you were programmed with. So, on top of the shared info, you were each given special knowledge. Special knowledge? You serious? Well, don't hide it, damn it! Tell us! I mean, how do we know what's special info? Right. It's best to pretend we don't know for now. Each of us has been given unique value. That is how it is, right, Sora Senpai? I don't think in terms of value. That's exactly right. I'm not sure about that. I don't think in terms of value. Unique value? Hinako, we aren't viewing you with a calculating eye like that. We're all victims, aren't we? Human or doll, it doesn't matter. Heh, <laughs> the mask is pretty cool, huh? Nah, I don't really care, to be honest. Um, shouldn't we get to the next room? Yeah, not really a good room to rest in. Let's move. Man, that was like insane. Hopefully like, there's not another freaking puzzle here. What the heck? Ah! Bruh, it's one thing after another. Some real poor taste here. Damn, all these deaths, huh? But so... I think this is all the deaths that we've seen. We see now, we can see So, Joe. I think that's Kai over here, I think. The pain of a woman collapsed in a pool of blood. Oh no. This seems somehow familiar. Wait, okay, hold on, we're not gonna do this yet. 
Anyways, guys, I think this is a perfect time to end this episode off. Yeah, this is a really short recording session on my end, but I managed to get through two of these, like, fun little mini games that we're doing with these, like, new dolls. I did mess up with the last one because I didn't, I, I didn't really connect that, like, I could, like, seal up those two areas I was pouring with lava because I thought that was lava, so I couldn't really touch it, but I could touch it. Anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. If you did and would like to see more, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down in the comment section. And if you have not already, I would like for you to leave a subscribe. That would make me a very happy person. And I promise you all that I'll be around for the next episode. Until we meet again, guys, I bid you all a fun farewell.